Hey folks, Fernando doing our video for Tomorrow Survivalist. In this case, we're going to be preparing some bread. It is a recipe I use. It's super simple. Yes, there's 10,000 ways of making bread, baking bread. That's all fantastic. The one I use is the simplest one, easiest one I know that gives you still pretty good results. You have a nice, decent bun of, of bread. And let's get to it. First, I start with um, flour, just three cups of it and I have a glass of a slightly it's not hot or anything just a little bit um, template a little bit lukewarm water and yeast salt and a tablespoon well it's like a teaspoon of sugar so the first thing that I do is cut maybe like a third of the yeast block that you have it kind of crumbles you can have it in, in, in like small packets and you mix this with water and add your sugar which is gonna be feeding the yeast I think the yeast is like a fungi or something like that I don't don't quote me on this I'm no cook guys you, you know that I just somewhat know how to prepare a kind of decent <laughs> bit of bread so you mix it because it's like a living organism it, it, it likes the um, warm water and sugar and a little bit of flour as well you can throw it in there so as to start getting that nice reaction that you want if, if you have some other recipe and you want to share it there in the comments fantastic again this is pretty simple and results are are quite decent so you mix this up in the meantime we're going to be preparing our little yeah well so you need flour yeast water a bit of salt olive oil um and the sugar we already use there we're going to be using a paper um yeah, some of this cooking paper which i have a bit of flour on on there on top so as to avoid any inconvenient sticking and um one of these rags or cloths so we have that it's already foaming a little bit which means it's reacting that's good make sure it's not hot this has to be you know kind of room temperature or a little bit warmer than room temperature that's kind of the thing you want to have going on so we're going to be putting the water here whoa yeah, kind of messy. Let's clean that up a little bit there on the side, so to not have this. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And we start mixing this little by little. You can do it with your hand right away, but it's a little bit more sticky. This way you have just a tad more control over what's going on. I already did this vi video in Spanish and I forgot half of the ingredients. It still went, came out quite well. It wasn't too bad, but let's try to do it right this time. And what I mean by this is not forgetting the salt. So yeah, let's put that before I forget about it. Salt, it's gonna be, how much salt? That's up to you. Put a decent amount of salt, unless you have like very high blood pressure or, you know, yeah, of course, if you have high blood pressure, you don't wanna do, overdo the salt, but a tablespoon, not, not a tablespoon, a, a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, let's go for it. Yeah, a little bit of salt goes nicely in your bread. You know, if if you add this, before, at least this is what I've been told. If you add this before, it starts reacting with the, it kills the yeast. So, yeah, that's not not good. Already using the hands here.
maybe needing a little bit more flour. Let's see what I have here. Just there we go. So as to avoid this getting too sticky. Here we kind of have our bread mix shaping into something decent. Now go to the table, put a flour there, and we'll just drop that right there like so. Remove every, any little bits still left in there. And now it's time to start working this with the camera between my hands making things so much more interesting <laughs> and now realizing that I forgot to add the olive oil <laughs> so this would be a right the right time to do that how much olive oil that's up to you man just put as much as you want I like it with a good bit of it gives it a nice taste and you start working this something like that Um, the traditional recipe of uh, well there's there's no such thing as a traditional bread recipe but um, usually one of some of the things that I've seen is a, a bit more wet um, I like it when it's a uh, more uh, drier and, and not so soft it just makes for nicer bread buns at least the ones uh, I like making it just works better for me so yeah let's keep doing this We're starting to see somewhat of a decent okay. This is almost when you start feeling it like airy, like like there's air inside, that's a good your stuff here. That's a good cue on, on you are on the right track. Okay, yeah, that's that's nice. Boom, there you go. <laughs> now, my little personal suggestion is try stretching this a little bit. Uh, and then with a spatula, uh, cut it like so. And keep stretching it in a couple more little buns. I want buns, I don't know what these are called, like, I mean, making those nice restaurant type of little breads, that's what we're going for here, yeah, I clearly have some that are bigger than others, that's okay, no problem, we are good. Okay, right. A little bit more flow, and here we sort of are on the right path. When you have this kind of like a handful, this is what I do with my fingers like that, trying to keep it tight, and this goes right there. And the same thing for all of these guys. Yeah, keep either an assistant or a pack of flour nearby for any additional needs you may have. Little bun, finger thing inside, you close it like that. That's going to be giving a, a way of opening up. 
and it makes an interesting shape pattern of a kind of some sort lots of flour on the outside I don't want to have any sticky stuff there closing it like so same thing here I want to end up tiny see how that works out same thing here lots of flour closing this one too there and same thing there okay yeah that didn't work out well let's try it again what about that yeah that's a little bit better so these go right here spread them out because they tend to open up quite a bit so make room for all of them man do I suck at cooking <laughs> but somehow magically I always end up on top of these things guys somehow I always end up with something decent once it's all said and done so there has to be some credit to that once you have this my little trick is turning the oven on for about one minute one minute and then turning it off again that leaves it just a little bit warm just uh, just enough so as for this to go right so one minute turn it off again and then cover this with a, a bit of a wet rag even the same rag you've been using to clean your hands while cooking that's okay no problem you just cover it like this and you let let it rest in the oven so just one minute turn it off again and then open this thing and let it rest in there for about 30 minutes so let's see how that's looking should be okay okay not too bad now we're going to be putting it in the oven for about 15 minutes just keep an eye in case anything is your your oven is a little bit too hot but 15 minutes give or take about 230 kind of hot and let's see how that goes out okay so 15 minutes later it's looking good kind of ballpark it that color looks quite nice so these are good to go okay not bad not bad at all let me we go close up you see that kind of hard texture you want that sound of like hollow that's a good sign so let's get these see you didn't have much faith in me look how that turned out not so bad right let's let them cool just a little bit and give them a, a try see if they taste good too okay and these actually taste as good as they look guys couldn't be any easier just give it a try if you want to learn some more cool recipes such as making banana pancakes or lentil stew, you can find that in my book Street Survival Skills, available in Amazon, following the link below.